In Washington State's Yakima Valley, the hops fields are being prepped for a new season. Demand for hops, a key ingredient in craft beer, is overflowing, and especially for aroma hops. This variety is one of my favorites, um, Amarillo, so it's a very sort of tangerine-y citrus, a little bit of grapefruit in there, and it works well in a number of different blends. With craft brewers seeking distinct flavors like citrus, chocolate, and others, farmers like Ben St. Mary are rushing to expand production. And we'll train it onto the core yarn where it'll grow up to the, the, the trellis that's 18 feet above us. And they use four to five times more hops than some of the bigger brewers, so in turn, we're doing all we can to, uh, to provide them with the best hops we can. It's a tall order. Less than 50 farmers here produce about 75% of the nation's hops. There is a lot of competition for that grower's time, land, and capacity to grow that variety versus possibly another variety. The popularity of certain hops has led brewers like Adam Robbins to plan ahead. He signed hops contracts nine months before brewing his first batch. You know, hops are sort of like the lifeblood of the brewery. Robbins expects the price of certain varieties to double in a few years. So hops um, are available, but when you start looking at specific hop varieties for specific flavor profiles, that's when it gets a lot more difficult. Craft brewers hope to command 20% of the nation's beer market by 2020, double from where it is now, keeping these fields hopping for years to come. Luke Sheridan, The Associated Press.